Hi guys, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Zoho Sites. It's perfect if you've ever wanted to make a great looking website, but you don't know how to code. First, we'll talk about what Zoho Sites is and what it can do for you. Then I'll guide you through the sign up and I'm going to help you set up your account. We'll also explore the dashboard and finally, I'll discuss how to create your website and customize it. So without further delay, let's dive in. Firstly, let me give you a brief overview of Zoho Sites. Zoho Sites is a website builder that allows users to create websites without writing code. It helps you build beautiful websites in just a few clicks. It offers a range of features including a drag and drop builder, templates, a visual editor, and a blogging platform, web hosting, business email hosting, marketing tools, SEO, and website security. Zoho Sites is is great for entrepreneurs, freelancers, small or big businesses, web designers, marketers, and even bloggers. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for a brand new Zoho Sites account. To sign up for Zoho Sites, here's what you need to do. Open your web browser and search for Zoho. Click on the first result and it'll take you to the Zoho Sites website. Now, once you're there, click on the Get Started for Free button. Now, this will take you to the sign up page and you'll You'll see a few options to sign up like you can use your email, your Google account, Microsoft account, or even LinkedIn. Pick whichever works best for you. For now, let's go with a Google account since it's quick and easy. Next, type in your first and last name and don't forget to check the box to agree to their privacy policy. Now, once that's done, hit the create account button and you're good to go. After successfully signing up, you'll be taken to the Zoho product page. Zoho sites are divided into categories like sales, marketing, commerce, etc, etc. And since we're looking at Zoho sites, scroll down to the marketing section and here you'll find the sites option. Click on the try now option under this section. Then you'll be directed to the Zoho sites homepage. To access your Zoho sites account, click on the profile option at the top right corner. Next, choose the Access Zoho Sites option, and as soon as you click it, you will be directed to your Zoho Sites account dashboard. The Zoho Sites dashboard is where you start building and managing your website. It has a simple and easy to use interface, and the first thing it asks you to do is name your website. Below that, there are icons to help you pick your website's category, like general, business, portfolio, and more. This setup makes it easy to get started by helping you figure out the main purpose of your site before moving forward. After you pick a category, the next step is to agree to the terms of use, which you'll see right below the category selection. The dashboard is designed to be super simple and easy to use so you can move through each step pretty quickly without feeling confused or overwhelmed. Now this clear, this clear and easy setup is especially great for first time users who might not know much about website building platforms. In the top right corner of the dashboard, you're gonna see your profile section. Now this is where you can check your account details and manage your settings. Now, let's see how to create your first website. The initial step is to write the name of your website. For example, I'll call this website Jeremy's Coffee Shop. Next, select a category that best fits your site's purpose. Since this is a business website for my coffee shop, I'll select the restaurant category. Once you do that, click on the choose template button. Now on this next page, you will see a lot of available template options. Take your time to explore these templates and choose the one that suits your requirements the best. If you find a template interesting, hover your cursor over it and see two options will appear, the customize and live demo. If you select customize, you'll be redirected to the Zoho websites editor where you can customize and modify the chosen template to suit your requirements. However, if you you choose the live demo option, you'll be directed to another page where you can preview the selected template. Let's select the second template by clicking on the customize option. Next, it will take you to this page where you have the left menu to navigate and select your required color, font style, header, and banner style. Firstly, select the color scheme of your website. Next, choose the font style from the set of fonts as it defines the typography of 
of your website's text. Furthermore, pick a header style as it will determine the design and layout of the header section of your website. Lastly, choose a banner style as this choice will determine the visual presentation of the banner section on your website. Once you've selected your desired options, click the Finish button. It may take a moment to redirect you to the Soho website builder. Now this page is your control center where you can monitor your website's performance and manage its content with ease. At the top right, you'll see the edit site button. Click on it and it'll take you straight to your website editor so that you can make changes. So let's go ahead and click on it and start editing our site. So first up is the home page. Now this page should look good and be simple so that users can easily find their way around. Zoho Sites makes it super easy to customize your home page and other pages with its drag and drop builder. Think of your pages as being made of sections and each section section has smaller parts called elements. Now these elements are like the building blocks of your website. To customize the template in Zoho Site Builder, let's start with the header area. It usually has the business name, logo, contact details, and navigation menu. You can change these by clicking on them. For example, click on the logo to upload your own image or click on the contact details to add your phone number or email. The navigation menu is easy to edit too. You can rename items, reorder them, or add new ones like home, about, or menus to match your site's layout. Each menu item links to a section or page that you can also customize to fit your needs. In the main section of your website, you'll see a big banner with an image and text over it. This is a great spot to grab attention and make a strong first impression. To make it your own, you can swap the image with something that fits your business, like a coffee cup if you're running a cafe. The text on the top can be clicked and edited so you can add a catchy headline and a brief description about your services or brand. Plus, you can add read more buttons and link them to other pages or sections to guide visitors easily. Right below the banner, you'll find other sections like history and tradition of Stanley, and these can also be updated with your own pictures and text, helping your site reflect your business. Furthermore, if you want to customize your footer, scroll down and click on the edit footer button and you can edit the various elements in the footer section, such as the image, social media icons, and other things that best fit your requirements. The Zoho Site Builder makes it super easy to change anything. You can drag, drop, and edit everything visually, giving you full control over your website's design and features. Now, look at the top left side of the page. You'll see an icon with a plus sign. Click on it, and a menu will pop up with different options. Now, these are tools that you can use to make your website better. For now, let's pick the Elements option. And here, you'll find things like text, images, icons, buttons, dividers, and more. Now, these give you tons of ways to personalize your site and to make it the way you want. So next to this plus button, you'll find options to preview your website on different screen sizes like mobile, tablet, and more. You'll also see the save and preview buttons right there. With Zoho Sites, every website you make is automatically ready for mobile devices. Now this means that your site will look awesome and work smoothly whether someone's using a phone, tablet, or desktop. Finally, if you're happy with your website and ready to launch it, you can click the publish button on the top right corner to make it live for everyone to see. Zoho Sites makes it simple to create websites that are both professional and visually appealing. And that's it for this tutorial. Today we covered everything that you need to know to get started with Zoho Sites. We've talked about signing up, explored the dashboard, and we've learned how to create your first website. I hope this video made it easy for you to understand the basics of using Zoho Sites. So thanks so much for watching, and if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more step-by-step -step tutorials just like this one. And if you have any questions or you want to share your experience using Zoho Sites, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, we'll see you later.